What's up guys, I Apple Tuber and on today's video I'm actually going to show you how to get all emulators NDS, PSP, GBA, any emulators that you know that you want for your iOS 9 devices working on all iOS 9 up to iOS 9.1, 9.2.1 and 9.3 beta 4 I was asked recently to if I can find a new emulator because my recent video I wish I had still works but it was a bit lengthy and some people found it a bit difficult so this one will be hopefully very easy to do so let's get started what you want to do first is go into safari once you're there what you want to do is go on to iemulators.com so iemulators.com iemulators.com once you find that click on that then you want to go into the app section scroll down until you find new game pass so scroll down new game pass. click on it click on download page wait for it to load then again scroll down click on this new game pad click on install install new game pad wait for it to pop up and then click on install and close this then get out of that as you can see just wait for this to install doesn't take much time once that installs I want, you have to also download something from App Store which is two apps which you need from the App Store one is first Tunnel Bear it's a VPN which is required you will know why so download that and you also need to download WeChat I already have WeChat but it's also here you've got to come here and search for WeChat as you can see it's here click on it download I already have it so I won't install it again as you can see just wait for the apps to install and then as you can see I already have WeChat here too WeChat is here so this app is already installed it will ask you to in, uh, trust it, we'll do that later first what you want to do is go on to WeChat once you have both of them installed go on to WeChat if it's your first time downloading WeChat it will ask you to verify or to what you want to do is only enter your number it doesn't matter any parents number friends number home number any number but just to get a code once you enter that you will just enter your name and last name if you want to set a profile you will do that once you do all that you will get a pop-up from a code you will enter that and you will get into WeChat once you're on WeChat what you want to do is go to the search search for new underscore gamepad search for it click on that this will pop up what you want to do is click on this and as you can see I already have this but enter an official account it will ask you to follow that so you click on follow then you click on official account what when, when it re uh, reloads you to here click on this click on the first option it will tell you receiving message once this pops up what you do is click on this blue icon once you do that just wait for it it will ask you it will bring you here what you do is click on that click on open safari new gamepad page will load you don't want to click on anything else you just want this code click on this code click on copy so where you have that code installed so up in this point we already have the code and we are subscribed to that WeChat subscription of the new gamepad. So I told you once, once you click on this, it's an iOS 9, so it asks you to verify it. Go into settings, go into general, go into profile and device management, click on this, click on again that, click on trust, and then again click on the red trust. So it's already in trusted. Once you're already trusted, what you want to do is go into Tunnel Bear. It will ask you to make an account. It's easy, it's free, it doesn't have anything. I already have an account, so I'll just log in. I'll be right back when I log in with you. So once you log in, it's very easy. You just need to ent enter email and a password, and then it will bring you up to this page. Click on I'm ready. 
once you click on that it will ask you to allow you have to click on allow it will bring you here it will, if if you don't have any touch screen that id you will enter your password it's fine once it re uh, redownloads to here which is now inside the app you want to change the country to china so don't forget this is a very important step to change it to china as you can see it's changed to hong kong sar china and then you want to click on connect doesn't take much time wait for it to connect and it's a free VPN so it doesn't cost you anything at all so as you can see it's actually going to connect now you have to be sure for it to first connect and then get on to the next step so as you can see this is already connected once you're there now again go back into the gamepad because I've already entered the uh, gamepad ID once it won't ask me again but what you want to do is when 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 you click on that, it will bring up like a pop up small. Once you want to paste that small password which you you found on that Safari page on there, and then click on OK, and then it will reload you to here. Don't worry, it's nothing much. Just it will bring you to a page, paste that there, click on OK, and this will be there. What you will get. And then once you want to do this, click on here. You still have the VPN connected. Don't disconnect the VPN at all. So as you can see, this is all the emulators that you wanted to play Arcade, MD, N64, WSC, PS, SFC, GBC, MAME, PSP, FC, GBA, and NDS. Like, let's see, we want to download the game for GBA, click on that. Redownload to all the game that it has. If you want any specific game, you can search for it doesn't matter now I'm gonna just download one small game just to show you guys that it works let me just download this game once you click on that it will pop up like here and as you can see it's actually downloading so we'll just wait for this to download as you can see it doesn't take any time but just a heads up when you connect the VPN it might decrease your internet speed a bit don't worry about that it's just usual because it's connecting you to some other server and we only need the VPN for do to download and to play. You don't need the VPN for any other steps. So you, the VPN has to be connected. As you can see, it's downloading very quickly. Just wait for this at the last steps. And there you go. As you can see, it's already installed. Click on back. Click on back again. And then you click on this one. Click on this one. And as you can see, it's with GBA, and then you click on this option to play the game. And as you can see, you're already into the game. Into the game, it's working perfectly. Doesn't crash. Doesn't. And just as a heads up, what's, why is this good better than Happy Cheek? Uh, the reason behind that is that uh, Happy Cheek, uh, the N64 didn't work. Apparently, it had some problem, but this one works perfectly. Then you can click on single player. And there you go, as you can see, you can play any game you want. Right now I won't play, but you can, you can understand what there is. And you, if you want to exit the game, you click on that, the red option, and you're already out of the game. So that was it. Once you're done playing the game, downloading the game, you can just come here and disconnect the VPN. Don't delete this. Keep it. If you want to download games, you have to have that turned on. And that was it, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll be back with you guys very soon. Be tuned for more videos and turn on your notification guys. iApplelTuber here, signing off.